Let's make this super rigid atomic drawing using dynamic paint and follow path constraint in Blender. First press shift A, add a plane, this will be our ground. Next press shift A, go to the curves, add a basic circle, enter the edit mode, scale it along the x axis, then select the top and bottom vertices, change the pivot point to individual origins and scale to shape it like an atomic path. Now press shift A, add a UV sphere, enter the edit mode, scale it into a flattened shape, right click and choose shade smooth. Go to the constraint tab and add a follow path constraint. Set the target to basic circle and enable fixed position. On frame 1, set the offset to 0 and insert a keyframe. Go to the last frame, set the offset to 1 and add another keyframe. Your sphere will now follow the path. Now, go to the physics tab, enable dynamic paint, set the type to brush and add a new brush. Duplicate the sphere with shift D. For the duplicate, go back to the constant tab. On frame 1, set the offset factor to minus 0.5 and keyframe it. On the last frame, set it to 0.5 and insert another keyframe. Hit play to preview the animation. Now select both sphere and basic circle, duplicate them, then select just the basic circle and press R plus 45 to rotate. Next, duplicate the whole setup. Again, multiple times and rotate or scale the path to form a layered atomic structure. Then select the plane, enter the edit mode, right click to subdivide 3 times, go to the modifiers tab, add a subdivision surface modifier with the level to 1. Then in the physics tab, enable dynamic paint, set the type to canvas and add a new canvas. Set the surface type to displace, enable dissolve, set the time to 60 and displace factor to 0.5. Right click and set smooth, also set the substrate to 4 to fix any motion glitches. In the modifiers tab again, raise the subdivision level to 2 and add a second subdivision modifier with level 1. If needed, delete the extra edge loops to optimize the geometry, then select the border edges, press E to extrude and has to scale something like this. Now go to the physics tab, expand the cache and click pay call dynamics. This may take few minutes depending on the system performance. Next, I have added multiple camera and bound them into a timeline using Ctrl B. For camera 1, I have animated the focal length. For camera 2, I have used location and rotation keyframe. For camera 3, I have added empty, use a copy location constraint to follow a sphere and parented the camera to the empty, allowing it to track the animation. Finally, I returned to camera 1 and added final focal length animation for a multi-angle result. Now, let's talk about material and lighting. In the shader editor, for the world, I have used this default as DRI node setup. I have also added spotlight with this node setup to project the shadows onto the ground. Also, I have animated it using noise texture for variation. The ground plane uses a leather texture with white border effect using this node setup. The sphere uses a simple gold metallic shader for a polished atomic style. That's it, your super easy atomic drawing using dynamic paint and follow path constant is ready to render in Blender. Follow Adobe for more.